Hey guys, it's Lexi, and welcome to Second Banana Society. So this week, we are reviewing each other's videos. I, I got Charlotte, so this is going to be a fun time. So I'm just going to hope that I'm doing this right, because the exact phrasing that Coho used for this theme, because Coho came up with it because it's his month, was... Hey squad, so March is my month and I wanted to come up with a theme like Deja Vu. So I basically came up with the reviews week. The idea is that everyone has given someone else on the channel and has to pick a video of theirs to review in depth, like comedically in depth. Find the most meaningless video of your person and try to find deep, contrived meaning in it. Go effing wild. Any questions please DM me and will someone put pressure on me to make week theme videos because I keep putting them off. Okay, thanks, bye. So I was assigned to Charlotte, and I, I think that there's a lot that you can get from Charlotte. Like, she, you know, she really puts a lot of deeper meanings into her videos. Like, I don't know if you realize, but like, sometimes, like, you see, like, she, she, you can see that she's thinking about other things when filming. So, I'm going to be reviewing and kind of going more in depth on this video called I Love You, Lexi, because I think it's really important to our friendship to go deeper into that. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Charlotte, and this week's theme is Lexi. So this video is gonna be so this week's video. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Did you see that crossfade? First of all, there were there she messed up her talking meaning that she's not really a hundred percent sure of what's going on, not just with our friendship, but also with life in YouTube. At the point in time when she made this, she was really at a crossroad, and you can see that too because she puts in a crossfade cross fade cross road in her life she's kind of unsure of what's going on and generally people especially her tend to just you know you, you just do a straight cut when you mess up uh, cross fade isn't generally used so I mean she's really really at a loss for like what to do with her life and she's really at this major cross crossroad in her life as you can see in the first six seconds of this video anyway I remember making a video a year ago about um, about Lexi. See right there, she momentarily forgot my name. Momentarily. That means that although I may be a little bit important and although this video may be about me, you know, I really wasn't that prominent of a figure in her life. She really, I mean, she was okay with me, but you know, she didn't really want to actually be talking about me. She, she kind of wishes in this point in her life, I think that she really wants to, to be talking about somebody else, but she has to talk about me because I'm the weak theme. Slightly awkward, like, no it wasn't awkward, I just didn't have much to say, but now that I've been on this channel for over a year and so much has happened, it's just like, I can say more. See here she keeps bringing up the whole awkward thing and although it may seem like she's talking about the awkwardness of having to make a video about me after only knowing me for a few weeks, I think it's about more than that. I think it's about her feeling of awkwardness in life and like her inability to make things 100% okay all of the time and I think it's really her kind of trying to search for a uh, more of a stronghold in her life and I think that what she's saying here is that like it used to be like really rough and really awkward but now that time has gone on like she's kind of gotten more of a stronghold in her life. First thing I want to say is happy birthday Lexi because the reasons the reasons the reason we do have week themes dedicated to members is because it's the week of their birthday so happy birthday Lexi so I think what's really happening here with her continuing to mess up her vocabulary is I think that that week was just really stressful for her you know she I think she had a lot on her mind and I think she was really stuck at like a strong a point of like where am I in life and here I am sitting in front of this camera making a video but why am I really here and I think that all of those intense thoughts just kind of piled up inside of her and it just made it so that she was tripping over her words because I mean why else would you trip over your words unless you were nervous and like you could almost say that like a cat had her tongue because that's what people say and I think that it's really kind of showing a little bit of how she has a cat because like a cat has her tongue 
Also, this video was made for my birthday, and my birthday is in October, and her cat's name is Pumpkin, and pumpkins go with Halloween, so I think that really what, what all of this, her messing up on her words, is her kind of just showing the fact that she really wants to be a pumpkin. Not, not in like a metaphorical sense, but in like a realistic sense, like I think she really wants to be a pumpkin and if you look around on her screen, there's a little bit of orange. Um, and I hope you have a good one and you're finally the same age as me. Huh. I'm no longer the oldest on this channel. Well like, I am, but not like visible oldest. Anyway. So I think that what she's saying here with the whole oldest thing is I think she means that like she felt as though she were superior to everyone on Second Banana Society but now that like I've reached like her age I think she feels like I'm finally like kind of getting to her level of quality of videos at this point. I think she's like wow Lexi's finally kind of almost as good as I am but like I mean not quite but like almost because she said like not visibly so like not visibly better or good enough so like everyone still thinks she's like better but like I'm still like I'm approaching that I think that's what she's trying to say there so a lot has happened in the past few months we have lost uh, most of our members I must say um, and Lexi and I are the only ones left I think that what she's saying here with us being the only ones left, I think she, she means it not only in like a sense of, oh, our collab channel, we're losing members, but also in a sense of like, I think she feels really, she felt really alone in the YouTube community and just in life in general. I think it was starting to feel a bit like the world was sort of dissolving and we were just kind of elevated in space and it was kind of just her face and my face and that's it. I kind of feel like without Lexi, this channel would literally be dead. Um, she's literally the one who keeps it together. Like she's, I'd say she, she's like the leader of this channel. Like she puts everything on point. She's always like making sure everything's like great and stuff. And I just love her for that. <laughs> See, I, I think she's trying to make compliments here. And I think that what she's trying to do is try to like make people realize how how much work she th she thinks I put in to like try try to add to the whole like oh Lexi's almost at my level thing but at the same time I think it's kind of like she says she says something and then she just kind of like looks at the camera but she looks dead and I think it's like she's like I, I want you guys to know that I'm not telling the truth here that that you know Lexi's like the worst person I know actually I think that's what she's trying to say I think she's trying to say that uh, I know she does say it would fall apart without Lexi, but I think it's more like, oh, she's the reason that this is falling apart. It's only me and her. I wish it was somebody else who had stayed on the channel because, I mean, they're all so much cooler than Lexi. And here, here she messes with her hair, and I think it's also going to the whole, like, I'm actually better than everyone, and it's not completely conscious. I think it's her, like, it, it, first of all, she has a British accent, and Everyone knows that British people think they're better than everybody else, except Americans. Americans think that even more. In ancient Greece and Rome, long hair used to symbolize wealth and power. So I think the fact that she has long hair in this video and the fact that she messes it symbolizes that she feels as though she has power and wealth over everyone in the channel, especially me. Also, we've gotten really close over the year because obviously we have been part of this channel together and we do text quite often and when I have a bad day and I don't necessarily want to talk to someone like one of my close friends that I see every day and who's like involved in the whole situation like she's always there and she's always willing to help and listen and you know she's genuinely an amazing friend. So I think that what she's saying here is that you know, you're supposed to keep your friends close and your enemies closer, and she's saying that we're very close, so I think that I'm, I'm like, she's saying that I'm, I'm, like, the enemies closer, you know, because she's like, well, even if I, if I don't want to talk to one of my close friends, I talk to her, because, you know, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. During the summer, we did Skype a lot, because, um, I had a bunch of free time, and so did she, and I just love our Skype calls, and I miss them so much when we're at school and stuff, because obviously I'm so busy and we don't have time, and like, timing is different, so it's just very annoying. I think that what she's saying here with the whole time thing is I think she's 
trying to say that she feels kind of stuck time-wise. Like, I feel like she feels like she's stuck doing the same thing over and over and she just doesn't have the free time to do the things that she wants in her life and she's just not reaching the full potential that she thought that she would be able to reach and she just feels stuck. And I think that the Skype calls because they're long distance kind of symbolize like the difference between who she is and who she wants to be because I think that there's definitely a distance between there. They're communicating a little bit but they're not quite together. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you Lexi for being such an amazing person and I literally can't wait to continue this channel with you and with the new members that are gonna come, you know, soon. But yeah, so I will see you next week. Bye. I think that what she's trying to say here with the new members is not only uh, to symbolize change on the channel, but also to symbolize change in her life um, with important things happening soon. Also, if you look at the back of her background, she has a stuffed koala sitting there. And okay, you may say, okay, koalas are like her favorite animal and her favorite emoji, and she says the comment koalas are cool at the bottom of her videos, but I think it means more than that. Okay, so koalas are from Australia, and we all know that she's half Australia, sure, and like Freya's from Australia, but you know what else is in Australia? Drop bears. And drop bears aren't real. And I think that this koala really symbolizes drop bears, which symbolizes her friendship with me because I think she's really trying to say throughout this video like, oh yeah, we're friends, but it's like not actually real. I secretly hate Lexi. And I think that that koala really brings out the drop bear that's non-existent, that kind of symbolizes our friendship at the time. And she ends the video with a smile, and we all know that, like, sometimes smiles are faked. So, like, I, I'm sure you see where I'm going with this. I hope you guys all know that that was all just kind of pulled out of nowhere and has, like, zero uh, basis. Because, I mean, obviously, in the video she was saying how much she liked me and all that stuff. And me and Charlotte have a really good relationship. And if we didn't, I, I wouldn't have said this jokingly so take this entire video as satire because that's what it is but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video at all go ahead and give it a big thumbs up also go ahead and click subscribe down below and go ahead and check out everyone's main channels because I'm uploading like kind of weekly again so you should always go and check that out anyways I hope you guys all have an amazing week and I will see you next Wednesday bye by the way, Charlotte, I don't actually think that you hate me. I love you too. Ah. And I love everyone else on SBS, just so you know. Just don't feel like I only love Charlotte, because I love you guys too.